keep coming in. So uh, it's important to have the grand, uh, over-the-top, fantastic uh, music that Star Wars is known for. So I really tried to bring that in all of the music. But also there's, um, these are new characters and new stories, and so the music tells their story, and sometimes it does that in a way that feels fresh and different. And I'm hoping that I've done a... a a balance of both what feels mm -hmm. comfortable and yet what takes us to a new place. Mm -hmm. And are there certain instruments that when you're working with them you're like, oh, this this is Star Wars, this is that, that brassy sound or those drums or, or strings? Yeah, there, there's, you know, there's actually some solo violin, and it's, mm -hmm. which is interesting because Amandla plays the violin. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, if ever there was a confirmation that that was a good choice, I feel like I got that. Um, but also there are times that um, we need the brass to play in Star Wars, and they're there. Um, and there's some, later on in the series, there's some beautiful, very mysterious kind of seductive strings. Ooh, okay. um, and, and there's a lot of percussion. There's some interesting battle scenes that are done in a, in a very, very fresh way, and so the music needs to um, approach that in a different way as well. So something for okay. everyone. Oh, man. I, I mean, I haven't been able to see it yet, so I'm excited to hear it all kind of play together. But Me too. thank you so much. Sure. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Which is feeling like I've been guided by my family and 
by my ancestors and by my loved ones throughout my whole life as like, my career has grown and now I have the privilege of doing something that is beloved by so many people and beloved by me and I get to connect with so many people around the world just by sharing my love of something with them and that's kind of like the ultimate dream that you have you know as an artist. Yeah, I mean, to be able to connect with your art through that way. And for you in so many different facets with music and acting. And I also want to ask because we see you do some amazing, badass stunts with this. You also knew we were just talking to Variety about fighting with Carrie and Moss. Can you talk about just how invigorated you felt at the end of those days on set when you got to really step into those scenes? I felt amazing. Um, I mean, sudden choreography is just such a special art form. It's like dance, but with like so much more power and aggression behind it. And you learn so much just kind of about the lineage of martial arts and why certain forms and ways of approaching it in your body are important. And so I feel like I got to take on this skill that changed my relationship to my body like for the rest of my life and um, and, and give me a like profound uh, appreciation for martial arts. Okay, well, we're excited to see you do more stunts then in the future, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I would hope so. That would be my dream, for sure. Be the new action star, definitely. <laughs> we see you be the indie darling, drama darling, action star you she is. Thank you so much, Amanda. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, oh, underneath that. this, I'm very heavily tattooed, so uh -huh. these are what my tattoo looks oh, like. Oh, no way. So you and said, I'm going to show them off still. Oh, that is amazing. Satoichi. Oh, I love that. Well, how does it feel for you? I mean, we're going to watch the prequel to essentially Phantom Menace, you know, what does it feel like to kind of go back into that space but through different characters? Weird. It feels weird. Um, it feels good, actually. And, you know, the thing that I love about this, the thing that I love about Star Wars is every character in every single show, every single movie has a history. Every character has a backstory. Every character has a life. And the thing that makes the universe so and diverse are all of the lives of each character and the more you learn about everybody the more the entire thing makes sense so tying all of the stories together tying all the information together tying all of these wonderful characters and, and moves together really just expands the universe makes it more full and makes you fall in love with it yeah, and it's almost it allows for a new generation of fans to cycle in and then yeah. re-experience. Yeah, right? you know, when I started, you couldn't really have a career in Star Wars, you know? It was just whenever George felt like making a movie, he did it. But now that it's expanded and there are so many people who have grown up with it and who have had all of these Star Wars stories in their heads, now they can actually get work and get jobs and create this entire fabric of, of reality and really build it out, you know, and it's just wonderful to see. It's what we did as kids, right? We played Star Wars, now you can play Star Wars and get paid for it. It's fantastic. That's true, for years and years to come, right? <laughs> and, you know, I read online also that you wanted to make a John Wick S movie yes. in the Star Wars universe. I do. What, is that? what does that look like? Well, um, what, what I was telling folks is, you know, I've been doing martial arts since I was very, very young, over 40 years, and... Um, in The Mandalorian, I got to swing some lightsabers around, but it was like one-tenth of one percent of what I could do. And so I've always wanted to do like a Star Wars movie where there were just no words, it was just action. So it was just me, lightsabers, and a bunch of people in the way, and, you know, Grogu. Okay. Mm, that's the idea. Listen, you know? why not? That's, that's Yo, what makes you a good action movie. We want to see the fight. Put it out there. It put it out there in the world. Maybe it'll happen. Manifestation, you know? Yeah. Thank you so much. And, I and what can it. we expect from Darth Jar Jar? Oh, you can expect a lot from Darth Jar Jar coming up. There's a, a, there's a, there's a lot in the pipeline from Darth Jar Jar. Mm -hmm. Anything you could say? Mm, well, one thing. Okay. September, Lego okay. Rebuild the Galaxy is coming out, and Darth mm -hmm. Jar Jar's in that. So I can talk about that one. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank, Thank you.
screenplay. Uh, Amazing, amazing. The blue, the shades, perfect. But tell me, you go through a lot of stunt training and as on screen, on camera, and I'm sure also behind the scenes. Can you talk about just what that felt like at the end to be like, whew, I'm done, I did it, and I succeeded in, in this Jedi training? Uh, 트레이닝 팀들과 너무나 오랫동안 즐겁게 uh, 트레이닝을 했기 때문에 정이 많이 들었어요. 그래서 uh, 물론 그 훈련 과정은 너무 uh, 힘들었지만은 굉장히 즐겁게 uh, 트레이닝을 했거든요. 그리고 또 현장에서도 절대 위험하지 않지만 위험에 보이게 촬영하는 방법을 그 트레이닝 팀과 제가 잘 알기 때문에 실제로 촬영장 안에서도 정말 즐겁게 촬영을 해서 다 끝나고 나서 너무 어 뭐라고 해야 될까요? 어 가슴이 좀아 뭉클했어요. 아 이제 이 친구들을 언제 또볼수 있을까 하는 어떤 그런 생각 때문에 근데 너무 감사했어요. 그분들이 아 정말 헌신적으로 아 도와주셨고 또 함께 너무 즐겁게 uh, training, uh, um, so we really did spend a long time training, so we got very attached to the stunt team and the choreography team. And even though the work itself was very difficult, it was also enjoyable because while keeping things very safe, we also wanted the stunt to look dangerous. So we had so much fun shooting, and when everything was wrapped and, you know, I realized I'm not going to be able to see these people every day anymore. So there was kind of, you know, a feeling of being like, wow, it, it really is over. Because they worked so hard and selflessly uh, to help us train for this movie. And with Star, I mean, Star Wars continues and continues in so many different ways. There's prequels, as you know, as we're seeing here today. Are you open to your character, you know, coming back, whether that's through a flashback scene or anything else in the future series? Oh, yeah. Oh,不是，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不，不